alienators welcome back to my channel new subscribers welcome holy shit we hit 3,000 subscribers yesterday and there's already like a hundred more thank you so much for everyone that's coming on and subscribing and becoming an alienator is everything to me I am living for it I am so humbled with all the love and support that I'm getting from everyone I just read one of my viewers that I love and adore so much Kathy I wanted to give you a shout out I was bawling after our call I love you so much I want to try to help you as much as I can and and I know I will and I know that the webinar the virtual seminars I'm going to start having as of next month is going to be so beneficial for some of you guys that need help in your personal life with your physical mental emotional financial whatever I can help you guys teach you guys to how to shift your energy and how to create your own realities that destiny is up to you and how you view your life and what you do with your life okay so I just wanted to say, Kathy, I love you so much. I am so honored to read for you, and I hope that you're gonna come on the seminar, webinar with us um, as of next month. Of course, that's still in progress. I have to collect everyone's emails and see who wants to come on. That will start happening as of next month, and that's going to be a monthly thing. That's basically a group coaching that I'll be doing because my private coaching is really expensive. I'm expensive as fuck. I'm not gonna lie, honey. So if you guys can afford that shit, then you need to do the monthly thing. As usual, I don't have makeup on, I put some blush on, and I put powder on my face, and I put this Barbie pink lipstick on so I would look cute, okay, honey? I love you guys so much, my alienators, I love you guys so much. If you guys wanna come become an alienator, and I've given uh, my viewers a platform to bitch and complain and gossip and, you know, just, talk about whatever they want to talk about our Facebook group is right here it's called alienators uh, please send us a request there I will admit you in um, and please follow me on my social media Facebook Twitter uh, Instagram whatever that whatever other crap that I have TikTok. it's gonna be right here so you guys can follow me there and I will put my website here. If any of, you, any of you guys that have read with me, whether it was for life coaching or private reading or whatever I've done, if hopefully I've been of help to you, please go onto the website, which is right here, and fill the testimonial side out. So it's going to show other people that wanna read with me when they see that. So it's just like a form of you know giving me um, good reviews and things like that and uh la, la 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 the lipstick and the t-shirt thing is all in progress um we are thinking about it and deciding and da 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 da, da. i gotta figure out there's so much i'm doing i'm doing live streams twice a day i'm releasing two videos a day i'm just like like a savage machine okay honey i'm a savage machine and i'm just trying to do it okay i want to blow up like have like 10,000 subscribers within a, within a month. We shall see, honey. We shall see. So, because you guys told me that you guys all really enjoy these zodiac readings, and since I've gotten these oracle cards and it's made my life so much easier, I have decided because I love my alienators, hashtag alienators, I'm going to start doing these zodiac readings weekly. So, today is Sunday. Happy Sunday. So what I'm going to do for you guys today is that I'm going to read what the week is going to bring for you guys. So it's going to be all the zodiacs. I'm going to read all the zodiacs um, for the following week, which is going to be June 1st. Okay, so that's what this video is going to be, honey. Make sure you subscribe, share, and like. And let's get into it, honey. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, as usual, because... I'm slow in the mind. I need to sage myself and sage the cards. And let me grab it and sage it. And we're going to get into it. And we're going to start with Aries, which is me, honey. Uh, we're going to start with Aries, the crazy, bachelor crazy Aries. And we're going to gossip and we're going to talk. And we're going to talk about other things while I'm doing the zodiac reading because that's what we like to do on this channel. We're going to start with Aries because we're number one, honey on the zodiac uh so i'm going to start with the island time wellness love oracle cards a lot of you guys are asking me what the hell this is i got this from amazon it looks like this 
they're super little cards, but I'm living for it. The messages inside are so very, very specific. Anytime you guys wanna buy anything, when you get it home, make sure you sage it, and you can go three times. That's how you put your energy into it, and Spirit knows that you're gonna use this deck for work, basically, okay? And then the other cards are just love oracles, and it looks like this. Okay, and there's, again, inside our messages, and they're very straightforward. So we're going to start, okay? I've saged myself. The sage is running wildly behind the scenes. And, okay, so thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Please show us what is coming up for Aries for the first week of June. For the, fir for the first week of June 2020, Aries, 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 Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, Oof. All right. Some of us are not in a good mood. All right. It says, not today. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, person, boundaries. Still angry. I was really angry yesterday, but I let it go. Whatever. It is what it is. I'm busy. I have to focus on my channel. So the second card. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kisses. Unconditionally loving, giving, and receiving affection, falling in love. The third card engagement ring engagement par partnership commitment eternity completion union so let's talk about that really quick before i move on so it looks like uh aries was going through some shit this week okay i mean i'm sorry this is for next week i feel like aries is going to be going through some some sort of thing next week uh it's going to be some miscommunication we are coming up mercury is not in retrograde yet we are going to be coming up to it however Sometimes before Mercury in retrograde happens, um, uh, people start getting affected by it even before it happens. It's very, very, very powerful. It affects your electricity, your devices, communication. So there's going to be a lot of miscommunication and fightings and screaming and uh, not getting along and things like that. However, by the midweek, by the end of the week, things are going to be good. This card is about unconditional love, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Engagement ring, which is about engaging partnerships, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Whether you're in a job that you're going to finish some sort of a project that you've been working on really hard for. Or you meet someone new that's going to make you feel really good and it's going to feel like you want to start something really serious with them. Or you're going to get engaged. Uh, there's a lot of weddings that happen in month of June for people. So that was the uh, what I see for the first week of June 2020 for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now we're going to go to this deck for Aries. So thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Why is this backwards? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. What is coming up for Aries for the for the week first week of June 2020? Aries, 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 Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in your Aries. If your Sun is in Aries, your Moon or Rising or your Venus sign, thank you, thank you, Spirit. Aries, Aries, Aries for the first week of June 2020. What's coming up? I'm going to pull three more cards out of this as well. The more loving care you give yourself, the more love you have to give others. So basically, it's saying give yourself all that love and attention, try to fill yourself up with love and positivity and focus and energy before you can be there for someone else because sometimes we get depleted by doing that for other people and if you don't have the, your energy is if your energy is down and you can't do that it makes you feel lethargic and tired and drained so make sure that you feed yourself that life source first before you can be there for other people okay the second card is life is tough but so are you this is so aries guys yes honey yes Life is tough, but so are you. I want to say this to all my viewers that are women. We are tough. Men can't live without us, but we can live without them. Always remember that. Um, you can do anything you want. Anything you set your mind to it, you can achieve. Uh, I am here to motivate and be your cheer cheerleader and push you on and, and, and fight for you. But I need you to fight for yourself as well, okay? The third card is... You are spiritually connected to those you love. It's a beautiful card. It's a very magical, mystical card. Um, so I'm going to review these three cards for Aries really quick. So basically give yourself love and attention before you can be there for other people. Life might be hard at sometimes, but 
you're tough enough to deal with it and you're a survivor aries you're a survivor and also you aries are very very spiritual people duh um i'm an aries and i'm spiritual honey uh so very very spiritual people listen to your intuition if you're interested in learning about your spirituality you can do so so your cards were really good honey you got your cards were really really good now we're going to move on to taurus so thank you spirit thank you spirit i want to ask for taurus sun moon rising venus for the week of june 2020 taurus sun moon rising venus for the first week of june 2020 thank you spirit thank you spirit what are the messages for taurus what are the messages for taurus what are the messages for taurus okay thank you spirit thank you spirit taurus sun moon rising venus thank you spirit thank you spirit for the first week of june 2020 the first card is self-indulgence okay honey focus on yourself self-worth time to heal shadow work self-appreciation okay so basically it's saying to taurus like work on yourself give yourself some um focus on yourself like this is not about narcissism okay about focus on yourself try to find what is it that you're passionate about and give yourself that kind of a self pep talk you know that you can do it just find your self-worth your own self-worth don't look to others for that find it within yourself find the energy and the force and the and the and on that unstoppable energy within yourself give it to yourself and appreciate what you've done what you've accomplished so far okay the second card is separation sadness missing you thinking about you yearning unsecure of future some of you might be separated from your loved ones there's a lot of divorces and breakups we know that about 2020 um we are going to, we are getting closer to mercury in retrograde we are in venus in retrograde right now um so some of you might be separated from someone you love um so you're sad and you're missing them and you're thinking about them and you're just you're kind of unsure about you know what the future holds and if you guys if you need some personal readings or life coaching Here's my email, honey. Make sure to email me for private coaching and life coaching and private readings. But if you can't afford that, you can join us for our monthly webinars, seminars for the group coaching that I'll be doing, which will start as of next month. So the third card for Taurus is seduction, honey. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Okay, so that's interesting. So the first card is, it seems like Taurus, you're not feeling well good about yourself. Someone's making you made you feel insecure about your self worth, about the, the your inner beauty, your outer beauty. So your so spirit and universe is saying, give that to yourself. Fill yourself up with that. You might be separated from someone that you love or you cared about. You're no longer with, or you went through a breakup. But don't worry about it, honey, because seduction card is saying you will meet people that you're going to feel kind of alive again you're going to feel attractive again you're going to start flirting and having fun and seducing people and be tempted okay honey so that's really good for taurus let's move on to these oracle cards for taurus i always pick this up like backwards uh thank you spirit thank you spirit i'm asking for taurus sun moon rising venus for the week of june 2020 2020 uh, week of June 2020 2020 thank you spirit for Taurus for Sun moon rising Venus for the week of June 2020 let's see let things calm and go stay calm don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on so this seems to be a theme about Taurus uh, some of you are have gone through breakups divorces uh, lost someone you love someone was came into your life and then they left your life and spirit is saying let things come and go stay calm don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on if someone came into your life and was destructive or whatever that they did let them come and go don't hold on to anyone because universe always brings you someone better for your highest good I always tell that to people when I do spells for them. I say, I can do a spell for you about this particular situation. But when I do that, the universe is going to bring someone think, something better or someone better for you. So just be aware. I know you want this guy, but universe might bring someone better for you. And that always happens for my clients. And they're like, oh my God, what was I thinking? And then they thank me because I'm a powerful witch. What can I say? 
Now the second card is you are moving onto a steady and reliable path. So it seems like Taurus needs to kind of like organize herself or himself and figure out what their pri priority priority I can never say this fucking word my boyfriend's not here right now uh focus on your priority did I say this right priority pri pri god fuck I'm back into like not being able to say this word again okay so focus on the priority in your life okay and give yourself what you need organize yourself and put yourself first the third card for you guys is you want a person who comes into your life by accident but stays on purpose Okay, so it seems like Taurus is going through a little bit of a rough patch in regards to relationships and or maybe even friendships and Spirit is saying, don't worry, things are going to work out. Uh, just give yourself that self-love. If you want someone to love you, love yourself first and uh, start with that and everything will come into its, its place. Okay, so everything will work out for you guys. So now we're going to move on to Gemini. Gemini for the week of june 2020 week of june 2020 so gemini sun moon rising venus gemini sun rising moon venus for the week of june 2020 the for the first week of june 2020 thank you spirit thank you spirit i will pull three cards out sunglasses watching looking stalking gaslighting perception focusing out Okay, so Geminis are basically, so Geminis are kind of coming across as a little shady in this card, like you guys are watching and looking and stalking and contemplating and gaslighting, perception focusing out, but I feel like it's not, it's a negative, it's not a negative card, it's just basically saying that you guys are kind of thinking, you're not taking action, you're just kind of being perceptive and you're just kind of looking to see, you know, how this is going to play out type of a thing so that's the first card for gemini and then we have abundance keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want gratitude and bliss so universe is saying that whatever you have whatever it is be grateful be uh stay in a state of gratitude and more abundance and more good things will come to you from that energy okay the third card is keys on a ring Many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stands. So Geminis sometimes have a tendency to be a little bit of a player. They like to have their options open. They want to know that everyone's in love with them. Everybody wants to date them. And it makes them feel good about themselves. I don't know what it is. Uh, but just be careful with that so you don't hurt anyone. You don't uh, falsely string someone along if you're not interested in them it's okay to have fun and date and have one night stands there's nothing wrong with it as long as the other party is also aware so you don't string them along okay so let's go to this deck for gemini 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 for gemini sun moon rising venus gemini sun rising moon venus for the first week of june 2020 for first week of june 2020 first week of june 2020 let's see what's coming up for gemini this is the first card everything you have ever wanted is on the other side of fear so basically spirit is saying whatever you want to do with your life whatever your interests are or whatever you have to kind of walk across that that threshold of fear you know worrying about i don't know if i'm going to be successful if i'm if i start this or if i'm if i reach out to this person that i'm interested in romantically what what what's what's going to happen like what you know what is how am i how am i going to be received and spirit is saying don't worry about it you the way you will be successful at what is it that you want is by walking through that fear don't worry about the outcome just go for it just do it take action okay the second card for you guys is stop criticizing yourself you are perfect just the way you are stop criticizing yourself some of you might mentally view yourself a little bit differently than in reality you might be too hard on yourself uh you might be seeking perfection uh and it's okay to have high standards and wanting to you know do well in all all areas of your life right but you can be so hard on yourself where you it's like a setback for you okay so the third card for gemini is same thing the more loving care you give yourself the more love you have to give to others so don't don't be so hard on yourself 
don't criticize yourself be grateful for whatever you've achieved and whatever you have and you can only build on that okay so that was for gemini now we're going to go to okay so now we're going to take a look at cancer for the week of june 2020 cancer sun moon venus rising thank you spirit cancer sun moon rising venus for the week of june 2020 thank you spirit thank you spirit for cancer for cancer thank you spirit thank you spirit i'm going to pull three cards out of this deck the first card is the runner runner is a codependent relationship fear of intimacy listening to ego so some of the uh cancer signs out there uh, are saying that you guys get into relationships um out of kind of like fear or that you're codependent and you're relying on um the person right like your 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 connection to that person but in reality you have a fear of intimacy that you have like you have like commitment you have a like commitment phobia or um you know you're your ego, I don't know, I've never really thought of cancer signs kind of being egotistical, but if some of you have that problem, to not listen to the ego and to listen to your heart. So anytime you feel mental about a relationship or a situation, try to bring your attention to your heart chakra, put your hands on your heart and just meditate and try to open that so you can love and you can receive and give love because that way you'll know do I really want to be in this relationship? How do I feel about this person? And open yourself up, up to love. It makes sense actually now that I tuned in because cancer signs hide their true feelings in their shell and they're afraid to get hurt. So they don't really display how they really feel. And they're kind of, uh, they're kind of like, um, they hide what their true feelings are and they don't want to show it. So, and it's hard for other people to read them because they don't really, are not as let's say like from someone like me you guys know i have like whatever you know i'm transparent and i show you guys and i tell you guys everything so a lot of uh, well cancer signs don't do that they kind of hide uh their their feelings because they don't want to get hurt it's because they're trying to protect themselves that's why they have that shell okay so the second card is not enough frustrated in relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego issues jealousy Whew, so some of you guys have some ego problems, huh? That's interesting. I never thought of cancer signs as that. So being frustrated in a relationship that you're in or friendships or your relationship with your parents, however you want to look at it, lack of confidence, self-sabotaging yourself, letting fear take over, jealousy. So I think you guys need that life coaching or the group coaching. Here's the email, honey. Get in, get in touch with me. Uh, I think a lot of you guys really need coaching more than anything. Um, if you have any type of characteristics that are you're blocking yourself or you're, you're sabotaging yourself or you're doubting yourself and there's no movement, there's no, uh, it's the energy is kind of stifled and stuck. So Spirit is saying just try to move forward. Don't let ego dictate to you, okay? Try to listen to your heart. Try to open your heart chakra. Get out of your head. Don't listen to the ego and just figure out what is it that you want. If you don't feel that you're valued or this relationship is good for you or if this friendship is serving you well or any type of issues you're ha having, whether it's with a coworker or parents or whatever it is, just try to, uh, what's the word? Uh, find out what is it that you want what's best for you okay so come from that perspective the third card is coffin endings uh, bring new beginnings growth change liberation transition so it seems like uh, there's a lot of change for cancer for the week of June we are getting close to mercury in retrograde by the way okay so for cancer it seems like you guys need to kind of check yourself a little bit my brother always says this thing he's like check yourself before you wreck yourself i don't know it's dumb but it kind of makes sense uh kind of just kind of check yourself like try to go from within and figure out what is it that is bothering you in, in your life what do you need what do you want to correct what you what, what you want to fix at the end of the at the end of the day you are in charge of your life and your destiny you can change it you can you can change your reality with your with the action that you need to take to change things right so what the cards are going to say with this deck thank you spirit thank you spirit for cancer sun moon rising venus for the week of june 
2020, first week of June 2020. 2020. These are, I'm gonna start doing these weekly readings because I think it'll be easier, then we can kind of see what's ahead and I'll post them or I'll publish them on Sundays so you guys can watch it and if there's something that's gonna come up for you in that week, hopefully I'm, I'm gonna be that voice of reason for you and you're gonna be like, oh shit, Ellie said this, honey, so we better do what she said. So thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit, for the uh, Cancer, for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the week, the first week of June 2020. First week of June 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit, for what wants to come out. Start reclaiming who you truly are. This is a beautiful card. Start reclaiming who you really are. You are Spirit, okay, inhabiting this physical body. You are bigger than your physical body, okay? Your spirit, you can co-create, you can manifest the reality that you want. Go back into, who, who, like everyone has a sense of who they are and their identity, right? If you feel like you've lost it, try to meditate on it, try to go from within to see what's important to you. What is it that you want out of your life, okay? The second card is the same thing. The more loving care you give yourself, the more love you have to give others. We are getting this a lot for the zodiac signs for the first week of June. I feel like it I feel like 2020 has been really challenging, but it's all about like cleansing and you know, hitting that hitting that start button, starting fresh, creating new things for yourselves and it's about just like, you know, if something's not working out for you to just try to figure out what you could do to change it and take action and try to fix it, okay? The third card is never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. So make sure whatever that you're putting your time in, investing your time, investing, whatever that is, uh, make sure that um, it's going to be reciprocated, right? Like if you love someone unconditionally, if you're there for your best friend, if you, you're the person that your family comes to, whatever the scenario and situation is, make sure that it's going to be reciprocated. If no one's going to give you that back, don't make these decisions based on these temporary uh, associations, okay? So that's what that means. That was our third card for cancer. So we're going to move on. We are going to take a look at for uh, Leo, my, my, my beautiful Leos for, oh, you guys got the soulmates, soul connection, partnership, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Um, uh, okay, so for Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus for the, so let's see what's coming up for the first week of June, 2020, first week of June, 2020. What is coming up for Leos? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the first week of June 2020. First week of June 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. What's coming up for Leos? First card. You guys got the same thing. The runner. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So I feel like for Leos, they do have a tendency to get kind of clingy. Um, when they like someone and they're with someone, they kind of rely on that person. They do a lot. Leos do a lot for people and their loved ones, and they expect the same thing in return, or they have a tendency to just kind of expect things from that other person, and they completely rely on that person for everything, which makes it kind of a codependent situation, right? So it's saying just be weary of that, just be aware of that, okay? The second card is love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So that's a beautiful card. A lot of you might be talking to someone new. Uh, it's like a new love or even friendships or, you know, things like that. And you're going to be getting a lot of messages and phone calls or text messages or whatever that that person is going to show you how loved you are or maybe a family member. And they're going to let you know like how, how loved you are. Okay. So the third card is Twin Flames. Okay, honey. Yin Yang, Zen, Balance, Union, Duality, Coupling, Complement Each Other. So that's the Twin Flame. Really, like literally, the Twin Flame is that symbol. It's 
yin yang like and and it and it switches so sometimes like you're good and the other person's bad and then the other and the other time the other person's bad and then you're you're good the twin flame um relationship is very much like up and down and it's mirrored each other you guys mirror each other you'll learn from watching the other person because you see yourself in them uh which is it could be good or it could be bad okay so that's the second card so that's really beautiful for uh for for Leo's, that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, okay, I already did that, right? I got the twin flame. Okay, so that was the third card. All right, so we're gonna move on to this deck for Leo. Uh, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Leo, Sun, Moon, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the first week of June 2020. First week of June 2020. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus first week of june 2020 thank you sir. thank you spirit so we're going to pull three cards here you are on your way to meeting your true love okay for some of you might be alone or single there might be a, an opportunity to meet someone new next month uh the second card you guys have two aces in a row this is going to be a really good month for you i have found the one that my soul loves okay and the third card is everything you need your courage, strength, compassion, and love, everything you need is already within you. So for my Leos, you guys, first of all, when you look at this symbolically, you have two aces, okay? You have two aces, and then you have the third card. Basically, Spirit is saying that if you're looking for love, if you're looking to connect, that's coming for you. You're going to meet that person. You're going to feel loved, whether it's in friendships or relationships or whatever the associations are that you're having next month is coming but always remember to look to yourself for courage strength compassion and love always try to look within yourself for that don't expect that from someone else if you give that to yourself and you feel that way about yourself then you're going to project that and it's just about law of attractions if you feel that way about yourself you're going to attract that into your life okay these are the things that i want to teach you guys in these um virtual seminars and meetings on that we'll start doing as of next month it's about learning how to give yourself all the things that you're you're expecting from other people once you kind of become self-reliant and you give that your, to yourself your energy will shift you become more attractive people will notice you there will be kind of like a like a twinkle in your eye you know what i mean it's just kind of like don't expect everyone to just give that to you try to give that to yourself and obviously if you're in friendships and relationships it should be reciprocal love and affection and all that and positivity should be in friendships and relationships giving each other positivity and encouraging and encouraging each other and loving each other unconditionally is the most powerful energy there is so when you guys come on and give me all that love and attention that makes me want to work harder even for you and do more things for you it's just it's a two-way street okay but spirit is saying try to give that to yourself if you don't have anyone that can give that to you all right so that was for leo uh, for the first week of June 2020. Take a look at Virgo's, Virgo's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the week of June 2020. Week of June 2020, Virgo's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's up. Ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Okay, honey. So Virgo's are looking pretty good. It's transcending. You guys are able to get over your obstacles, <clears throat> learning to expand uh, whatever phase of life you're in, whether it's romantically, with your job, your finances, preparing for union. So maybe some of you want to be engaged or get married. The second card is the Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. Wow. So for Virgos, it seems like it's the same theme. It's about transformation change uh ascending i uh, moving up maybe it's like a job situation or maybe the time has come to kind of uh make something more of a permanent like getting married or getting engaged okay the third card is endings 
bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. So that seems to be the theme for Virgos. It's really beautiful, trans transcending uh, obstacles. You're learning to expand. Uh, there's a new phase that's coming in for you guys. You guys are preparing yourselves for it. Uh, this new phase, again, for the Phoenix says, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation. It's almost like you're shedding skin. You're changing. Uh, you're working on yourself, which is really beautiful. Growth. Your mindset is changing, change of, of your, your mindset. And also, again, the third card is endings and new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, liberation, and transition. So they're beautiful, really, really beautiful cards for Virgos. Virgos are very, very grounded. They know what they want. They're hardworking. Earth signs are usually very... Uh, um, grounded you know they're kind of like earth signs kind of like they know what they want they're grounded they're super patient you know they take their time they don't just jump into things uh so so that was great that was great for virgos let's see for uh virgos with this deck uh thank you spirit thank you spirit i always do this everything gets backwards I don't, I, don't like to, I don't like to read my oracle cards upside down because they don't, they don't even have any meaning upside down. It's just for the tarot deck. So thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. For, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Virgo, Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus. For the first, for the, for uh, June, first week of June 2020. First week of June 2020 was coming up for Virgo. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Uh, I keep getting this card for everybody. Okay, well, we're just going to go with it. You are on your way to meeting your true love. Okay? So that's the first card. Self-explanatory. Self advent adventure. Ev when, I get, when I get tired, I start stuttering. You guys apologize. I'm apologizing because I'm fucking tired and just burned out. Okay? And this takes a lot of energy for me to do. Adventure awaits. Go find it. Okay? So that's coming up for Virgos. The third card is you will meet your soulmate when the time is right. So some of you are changing your patterns and your lives around. You're trying to start something new. But Spirit is saying that, you know, your patience is going to pay off and you are going to meet that special person. And you, I feel like energetically, kind of like psychically, they're preparing themselves because that's what the cards are saying. You guys are preparing yourself for that union. You want to get married. You want to meet that special person. You want to start something new. You want to get into a relationship. You want you want that new job, that, you know, uh, opportunity for work or whatever it is. It's kind of like you guys are kind of like preparing yourselves. And I feel like this is also very true for everyone that's going to be coming out of this quarantine. Um, it's like, okay, we're back to work. Let's do this. You know, let's focus. Let's make that money. Let's, you know, resume back to life, right? So that feels very much for earth signs are very, uh, they feel more stable, uh, most stable when they're financially uh, successful, okay? So that was for Virgo. Add uh, Libra, Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for, thank you, Spirit, for Libra, for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for Libra. For the first week of June 2020, first week of June 2020, first week of June 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. What does Spirit want to show us? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. She wants me to hold her, probably. My, I have no berries, puppy. There's no berries. My puppy is down here begging for something. I was eating almonds a second ago. and Basically, she whines because she wants me to like put her in her blanket and hold her like a baby. Then she sleeps. She really thinks she's like a human. human and we call her a human baby. We call her human baby. She's looking at me. She wants something. What do you want, puppy? I'm busy, man. I'm trying to do this fucking Zodiac reading. Get off my butt. Go on. Go on, Dan. Go on and get. Oh God, she's down here. What? You want me to hold in you? You want me to hold in you? <laughs> Can you come pick her up? Go, go, go to your daddy. Go to your daddy. Maybe she needs to go out and poo poo. No, All right. So, does she have to go potty though? 
Okay, so for Libra, the card that I'm pulling out is Boat. All right. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Okay, so for a lot of Libras, they're dealing with closing that chapter on someone that they were interested in or are interested in. Maybe things fizzled out. Maybe things are not working out and they are learning how to move on from it and kind of get closure. They kind of give themselves closure, okay? They kind of, they're very logical people. They need to be balanced and they're kind of giving themselves the closure that they need. They need to learn to move on. Spirit is saying that you need to kind of come in terms with things and move on for whatever the situation is that you guys are dealing with at the time, for the time being. Uh, the second card is the butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child growth. For some of you, uh, it is time to kind of um, evolve the situation, okay? So the butterfly, like um, the moth turns into the butterfly, it's gonna be another phase, the next phase. Um, if there's commitment, that needs to be discussed. If there is, uh, you, if you guys wanna talk about, you know, being in a monogamous, committed relationship with one another and be devoted to each other, so it talks about that. The third card is about keys on a ring. Make sure that uh, you're, you have many options. Choose wisely. Don't string people along if you're not interested in them. Make sure that you're on the same page with the person that you're, you're dating or even if in friendships or even in, in terms of partnerships for business, just make sure both parties are on the same page. Don't assume anything. Make sure everything's discussed that you're communicating what you're expecting uh it's very very important to do that okay thank you spirit thank you spirit let's take a look at these cards for uh for what am i doing libra for libra sun moon rising venus for libra sun moon rising venus for libra for the first week of june 2020 first week of june 2020 Oh, okay, okay, honey. This card wants to come out. All right. Uh, fall in love when you are ready, not when you're lonely. Okay, so this just came up for Libras. Fall in love when you are ready, not when you're lonely. So just don't get with someone and think you're in love because you feel lonely. Okay, obviously this is self-explanatory. The second card is... Take a leap of faith into the unknown. So trust the universe. Ask what you want from the universe. Okay, so first put that out there. Ask what is it, ask the universe what is it that you want. If you want to find, you know, if you want to fall in love, if you want someone new to come into your life, or if you want a new line of work, whatever that is, just put it out there and then trust it. When an opportunity comes, when that when that door closes on you and another door opens, just take that leap of faith, okay? The third card is life is art, paint your dreams, sing your songs, enjoy the dance. So this is all the stuff that I want to talk about in this virtual seminar thing, uh, that we are in charge of our own destiny. We make things happen for ourselves. It is you. You make a decision, the kind of life you want to have, okay? It's up to you to make sure you paint a beautiful life for yourself, okay? So this was for Libra. It was a beautiful message. Let's move on. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio for the... Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the first week of June, for the first week of June, for the first week of June. Thank you for the for, for, uh, first week of June 2020. Let's see what else wants to come out. Healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Scorpios have a tendency to get a little obsessive compulsive um they have issues with addiction and things like that they're water signs water signs is hard for them pisces cancer scorpios it's really hard for them to deal with their emotions so a lot of times they use substances to deal with the emotions so the underlying reason they go towards drugs or alcohol is because they can't cope with their emotion because they feel so much they feel so much you guys um it's really, really hard for them. I'm Scorpio Moon, and I, I'm, I'm always crying, as you guys can see. You guys all, always see me crying and shit, right? 
Um, so the third card is love call, call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Um, so with, with all that stuff that's going on for you guys, whether, you know, maybe someone that you loved is no longer with you or a relationship has ended or a friendship has ended, but it's going to be okay. Something new will come into your life. Uh, you're healing right now. Your heart is healing right now. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships. Be careful with self-sabotaging yourself with using substances and things like that to kind of mask the hurt try to heal yourself from it try to get therapy for it instead of masking it with substances okay whether it's drugs or alcohol and then the love call is someone people will be reaching out to you if you open yourself to talking to your friends or your, your loved ones or your family or or maybe someone else wants to express interest in you so just go with that okay just be open to it open your heart to it Let's see what this deck was, wants to say. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit, for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of, I mean, I'm sorry, for the first week of June 2020. First week of June 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. <sighs> okay. <laughs> you guys get the same, same thing. I'm just going to go with it. Adventure awaits. Go find it. I feel like this card is symbolic right now of everyone that's been cooped up. I, I'm going to go to the beach tomorrow, you guys, okay? I'm taking Sunday off. You guys are going to be watching this video while I'm going to be on the beach tomorrow, okay? So I feel this is about we are just cooped up. We're tired. We're fighting. We're arguing. Everyone's on, on your nerves. You need to get out there. Go out in nature. Go walk in a park. Go to the beach. Go for a drive just by yourself. Sometimes we need alone time, you know? So the second card is start reclaiming who you, you truly are. Again, some of you, you need to start kind of going within to trying to find out what is it? Who are you? What is it that you want? What's important in your life? And trying to go out there and achieve it. If you want that group, group coach, honey, here's the email. Contact me, okay? The third card is sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cried at, all, at night all night holy shit this card sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cried all night so the reason they're so strong in the morning is because they already cried all night got it out of the system this is something else that i wanted to say every time i have a client that comes on zoom with me for me to read them and things like that they're holding themselves back. I can feel it. I can see them. They're gonna. They're trying to get. They're. They're gonna get emotional. They're trying to be strong. They want to not show that. I feel like sometimes we see that as a as a form of weakness. Um, however, I want you guys to feel safe when you're talking to me one on one. If you want to cry, if you want to bitch, if you want to complain, that's what I'm there for. Okay, and just remember when you do that, it's release. It makes you feel better. You got it off your chest. Uh, that's why I'm always bitching to you guys, <laughs> whether it's good or bad. That's what my morning tea is all about. We come on, we're complaining, we're gossiping, we're talking shit, whatever we're doing, we're brainstorming. It just gives you an opportunity to get it off your chest and let yourself feel, let it come out. Because when you hold it in, it's kind of destructive, okay? And then you hold on to that hurt, you think about it, it stays with you, that energy stays with you. It's it's the opposite of healing, okay? So I think that was really beautiful for Scorpios. Please do that and release yourself. You guys are very emotional. Um, it's a very emotional sign. Just try to listen to it and express it. You don't have to do it in front of other people if it makes you uncomfortable, but do do that in your alone time. Um, there's a movie that reminds me, I can't remember the name of the movie. All my reference, references are films, which is really pathetic, but I don't, I don't, I watch a lot of movies, you guys, okay? That's my thing. That's my jam. And there was this movie that I can't remember, but this character uh, is a doctor. And she wakes up in the morning and cries for like 30 minutes. Then she's like, okay, I'm good, I'm good. And then she puts her clothes on and she goes to the hospital and she saves people throughout the day. Because she has to do that because she's lost her patience. She has problems in her relationships. She has problems with her family. So she releases herself. And that way, when she goes to work, she can be a compassionate, loving, caring uh, doctor for her patients, okay? Um, that that kind of what makes me feel about people that are kind of hold it in and they don't let it come out and release themselves. Okay, so we're gonna move on. This 
Sag thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Sagittarius for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the first week of June 2020. First week of June 2020. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. First week of June 2020. First week of June 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. The first card, coffee cup, meeting and conversing, saving, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. So it looks like for some of you guys, it's about getting out there, go meet someone at Starbucks, have a cup of coffee, talk about your problems, get out, socialize. It's healthy for you guys to meet up with friends and family members or whatever. The second card is heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfection. This is about opening yourself up to new opportunities, new friendships, new relationships. It's all about renewing. Sorry, you guys, for that siren. I hope everyone's well. Sending them love and light. The third card is separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. You guys, every time I do the Sagittarius, I can't help it. I think of Hail No, Haley, and... I feel like this is about her. You guys, I don't want to be mean and I don't want to just generalize and put everything on her, but it's showing that I think she's getting out of the house. She's She might be meeting someone else. You know what I mean? Separation is from Justin. I'm going to do a video about Justin after this. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. So um, for Sagittarius, you guys, I hope that you guys, if something happens where something ends, whether it's in regards to friendships or relationships, please don't obsess, don't hold on for your dear life. Just try to open that energy. Don't stifle the energy. Don't just don't like stifle it. Just open the energy, make yourself open to other possibilities and other opportunities and try to move through your week that way. Okay, just be open and to receive and give, okay? So let's ask this deck for Sagittarius for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the first week of June 2020. First week of June 2020. Sagittarius is for uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The first card is, oh my God, every single sign is getting this card. I honestly think this card is about we're coming out of quarantine. Go out there, go to the beach, go to the park, have fun. Go on an adventure, go for a drive. You know what I mean? That's what this card is saying. Everyone's been cooped up. Thank you, Spirit. We know that. I'm going to do the same thing, honey, tomorrow. I'm going to go to the beach. Yes. Peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. So the peace that you're, you're looking for uh, is within you. You can create your peace. You can create your heaven. You can create your own hell, okay? So pay attention to that for, for the first week of June. The third card is... Take a leap of faith into the unknown. So I feel like the theme for a lot of the Zodiacs is that some of you don't know what to, to expect. Some of you do know and you're preparing yourself. Okay, so that seems to be the theme for it. I'm going to go look at Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the first week of June 2020. First week of June 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cap Capricorn, Capricorn. Mask, not showing true feelings, hide, person personify, pretend, that delude, gaslighting. So I feel like some of the Capricorns are hiding their feelings. They're not showing who they really are. Capricorns have a tendency to be caregivers. They love everyone. They take care of everyone before they take care of themselves. And sometimes they don't... Well, Sometimes in life, unfortunately, it is what it is. Whatever you give, you might not receive in the, you know, back from that person, and it makes them kind of jaded. They don't want to, they don't want to do that. It makes them want to hide their feelings and hide hide their uh, that they're hurt and things like that. Okay, so that's that's for Capricorn. The second card is soulmates, soul connection, partnerships, agreements, soul contract. Some of you guys are in these soulmate relationships which means you have a soul contract with this person. It's okay, she can bark. Uh, that means that uh, they can, uh, it means that some of you guys are in a, in a soulmate connection, a soulmate relationship. That means that you have a soulmate contract and an agreement from a past life. In a past life, you guys had agreed upon coming back together and being there for each other, helping each other, okay? So that's what that, that's what that card means. The third card is 
coffee cup, coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. Go out there and meet with your friends. Have a good time. Don't just you know work and give, 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 give. Try to have fun, get chill, lay back, have a good time. Okay, so that was for Capricorn. Let's see in this card, Capricorn, Capricorn for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the first week of June 2020. First week of June 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. I am so going to take tomorrow off. I am going to do my live stream, okay? By the way, let me just put it up here right now somewhere on the screen. I do my morning chat, my super chat, and my live streams every bloody day at 9 a.m., okay? Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific time. And then on the weekends, is 10 a.m. Saturdays and Sundays is 10 a.m. Pacific time. However, I'm going to start doing evenings. Either it's going to be 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night. I have no fucking idea. But there's going to be a second live stream super chat. Um, so for the people that don't get the opportunity to come on the morning chat, I can kind of establish a relationship with them in the evening, okay? Uh, you guys are not obligated to come on both. You, you choose what works for you, okay? So just want to mention that. So you guys are aware. It's up here on the screen somewhere. I put it here, here. I don't know. So what was I talking about? I was talking about Capricorn, right? So let's see in this deck what it's gonna say really quick. Never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. If some of you guys are hurt that you feel like you're in a temporary situation, whether it's friendship or relationship or your job and you feel like it's not permanent, so don't invest so much time and energy into it, okay? Second card is, don't be afraid of losing someone who doesn't want you. Oof. Haley always gets this card, okay? So for Capricorn, Spirit is saying, if you're losing someone or if someone does not want to be with you anymore in a relationship, don't cry over someone that doesn't want you, okay? Fuck it. Like, let them leave, okay? Fuck that. You're a queen. You're a king. Uh, the third card, in the, in the end, you tried and you cared and sometimes that is enough. So it seems that the, the theme here is that if someone wants to get out of your life, if someone wants to leave the relationship, let them, okay? They can go. And just find that adventure for yourself. Uh, find that, uh, find whatever that you're seeking in that person within yourself and then the energy will open up it will your energy will be lifted you will project that positivity and you will be this kind of a ray of sunshine everyone will be attracted to you and you will attract the right people into your life if someone wants to leave they can go it's okay don't invest so much time and energy on why did this happen to me why was i abandoned just don't give it any energy don't give it any thought just let them go and the door that closes another door will open okay so we're going to move on going to take a look at Aquarius. Aquarius for the first week of June 2020. Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. What's coming up for Aquarius? Aqu Aquarius's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the first week of uh, June 2020. First week of June 20. This card wants to come out really badly. Cupid's arrow. Okay, honey. Wow. One of my clients that's my moderator we're just going to talk about it because i think i'm always thinking about her honestly i can't help it um i'm super happy for her i've been coaching her for a month she's found someone new she's dating she's super happy it says cupid's arrow you know what you, you know who you are i'm going to say your name shout out to brie okay i love her have faith love is coming surprise invitation meetings and love everlasting love so the cupid's arrow Okay, so love is in the air, it's new love, it's new romance, honey, okay? The second card is, it is safe for you to show your true feelings, um, hiding and pretending, what? Hiding and pretending, but it's safe to show your true feelings. So don't hide your feelings, you can, it's safe for you to show your true feelings, and don't hide it. Don't try to pretend that you're someone else, okay? Just be yourself and be affectionate and loving and kind, whatever your personality is. It's safe for you to be this way in this new um, chapter in your life, okay? The third card is 
Reminiscing, keep safe, perception, learn from the past, make memories. Camera, okay? So that's where Aquarius is, is saying, um, you know, just uh, your perception, make sure your perception is positive. Uh, don't bring fear into anything. Just try to stay positive, positive about everything that's happening. Uh, make memories, okay? Make memories, enjoy your life. That's what that means, okay? So let's go to this deck for Aquarius's. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit, for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit, for Aquariuses. Uh, for the first week of June 2020, what's coming up? The first week of June 2020, what's coming up? First week of June 2020, what's coming up? This card wants to come out. What is this? Uh, this cards always go upside down. Okay. Life is art. Paint your dreams, sing your songs, enjoy the dance. Same thing I always tell everybody, all my clients. You are in charge of your own destiny, okay? When you come to someone like me, I can only encourage you and put you on that path. And I can see your passion or the obstacles that you create for yourself. For yourself. Spirit is saying that it's your life. You are in charge of your own life. Whatever, you, whatever kind of life it's going to be, you are in charge of it, okay? Make sure it's going to be good. You can paint it to be beautiful. Sing your favorite song and enjoy your life. Sing and dance and enjoy your life, okay? Everything you need, your courage, strength, compassion, and love, everything you need is already within you, okay? The third card Fall in love when you are ready, not when you are lonely. So I feel like the theme for Aquarius for this week of June is that I feel like some of you guys are embarking on something new. You were probably hurt from some past things. Aquarius have a tendency to think about the past a lot. And what happens when you think about the past, you keep bringing into the future, into the present time because energy exists simultaneously, past, present, future. So by constantly thinking about the past, especially if something was not good for you and you're thinking about it, you're upset about it, you're going to draw that energy into the present time. And then what's going to happen is that's going to be your future. So just be mindful of that. Energy is, exists simultaneously. There's no such thing as past, present, future. But because we are, we've created time for us in this reality, Whatever you think about, you bring about, and then it's gonna be your reality in the future, okay? So just be mindful of that, Aquariuses, okay? So whatever you're doing, try to stay positive, just keep, your, just open your heart, uh, be yourself, enjoy your life, okay? Now we're going to take a look at Pisces. Pisces. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus for the first week of June 2020. First week of June 2020. This is almost like a month reading I'm doing because I forgot that my video was really short last time and I was pulling only one card out of the deck. So that was like, it was only a 25 minute, 30 minute video. So I wanted to elaborate on it a little bit. So I'm pulling three cards out of each deck and it's a long ass fucking video. I'm sorry guys. So maybe next time I'll remember that. So for the weekly, I, it will not be as long as this. I will do this for the monthly, okay? So for Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Let's see what's coming up for you guys. Girl with a snake, oof, okay. Empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used, enable boundaries. Okay, so I feel like for Pisces, it's just saying something like, be careful, um, some of you might be like an empath. Some of you might be narcissists, right? Uh, you could be charming or people could use you, which is interesting because Pisces are the, the fish that go in opposite way. And I feel like there's a little bit of a duality there. Like you could be really sweet and kind and good, but then you can kind of go the opposite of that, right? Um, so just be careful. Just be careful. Create boundaries and don't enable people don't let people you know use you or take advantage of you at the same token don't do that to other people okay so that seems to be the thing for you guys the golden mirror self-absorbed narcissist one-sided relationship love bombing 
So that's what's coming up for Pisces. You guys might have a tendency to do that. I don't really see that in Pisces, but this might be the message for this upcoming week. Uh, just to kind of um, make sure if you're in a relationship or friendships or whatever your associations are, for it not to be one-sided. It's like give and take, it's two-way street, okay? We're not gonna give it too much negativity, okay? The third card, ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, ex expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So I feel like some of you guys might come out of that phase for this coming month, this first week of June. Try to change your energy, try to be kind, uh, be aware of those tendencies. Uh, don't let people walk all over you, but at the same time, don't walk all over other people, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The first week of June. First week of June. First week of June. Pisces, Pisces, okay? Start reclaiming who you are. Start reclaiming who you truly are. Same card is coming out for you guys. I'm shuffling the shit out of this deck and we're getting the same cards over and over. It might be some sort of a uh, uh, energy of the week. It feels like it's like an energy of the week. The cards that keep coming out after I shuffle so much for the same for all the other zodiac signs, start reclaiming who you truly are. This is about it's a, it's about accepting yourself, uh, looking to yourself like you know, remembering who you are, remembering what you want out of your life, okay? Uh, maybe people put ideas and expectations on you, right? So just look to yourself. What is it that you want? Who are you? What, do you? what are you trying to do in this life? This is your life. This is your path, okay? So that's the first card. The second card is the same thing. The more loving care you give yourself, the more love you have to give your others. I'm getting these cards over and over for every zodiac which is very interesting because it's about the week okay it's the energy of the week the third card is harmony is pure love for love is complete agreements okay i don't really understand what this means let me look at it harmony is pure love for love is complete agreement i feel like this is about the conflict that pisces have within themselves i feel like Pisces are like um, bipolar. Like they want to be this compassionate, loving, good person because of their, it's like a, it's a, their water sign, right? They feel a lot. They can feel overwhelmed because if I feel like they pick up on people's energy. But then at the same time, they get like narcissistic or crazy and they want to go against that. They want to swim against the current, right? Hence the fish going the opposite way. So I think Spirit is saying that it is important for you guys to be harmonious within yourself. Like your inner, you guys have inner conflicts, right? You Like you're either this way or you're this way. You're either good or you're either bad. If you're good, you're really good. If you're bad, you're really bad. And it's like creating creating harmony. So if you realize that you have this kind of a duality within yourself, it's okay. A lot of people do. I have that. And just to try to create some harmony, just try to bring some balance into it, okay? So that's it, guys. Sorry this video got long, but I think that's what you guys like. I hope you guys appreciated this. I'm tired as fuck. But I was like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to do these weekly Zodiac readings because it's Sunday. And then this is going to be a reading for the first week of June. I think I'm going to start doing these videos for Sundays. We shall see. Um, I'm going to do Paris. Babies. I love you guys so much. My alienators, I love you guys so much. I don't want to start crying. I don't want to start crying, okay? I just, I feel like... You guys are giving me so much love and support and I might be doing the same for you guys. I'm creating this community. I want you guys to be friends with each other and talk to each other on our Facebook group, Alienators, which is right here on the screen. Um, it's like a sense of belonging to a community, right? We can come on and talk and complain and gossip and be there for each other. A lot of people are asking me to send them healing and pray for them. And a lot of people want us just to gossip. So it's just like anything, anything and everything goes, okay? As long as that we're respectful towards each other and the community line guidelines. And 
if you guys want private readings and pri private coaching, or if you're interested in this virtual seminars, the, the group coaching that I'm gonna start doing as of next month, the information is right here. Just email me and uh, we'll, we'll start doing that as of next month. You guys know that I do the live streams every day. Uh, if you're new, please subscribe, share, and like. I appreciate every one of you. There, I'm having so many people that are subscribing to me or saying, I came across your channel by accident. I love your videos. I love you so much. I'm an alienator now. It means the world to me. I, all this love and support means the world to me. I appreciate you guys so much. And, and I'm growing so much is because of you guys. You guys are so supportive and loving and always there for me, always coming on the live stream. And it's the best part of my day, honestly. I can complain. I can be sassy, I can cry, I can smile, I can laugh, I can gossip, it's, it's everything. So I am working on the merchandise, I just need you guys to kind of uh, know that I need to do pre-orders, uh, people need to like kind of pay for them up front so then I can put, you know, put it into motion and then try to sell it on my website which is right here, I'm going to put it on the screen. I think I may have to sell my merchandise, whether it's the lipstick or the t-shirts, the coffee mug, whatever I end up doing, probably on the website. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do this, but I will keep you guys in the loop. I will see you guys tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. for a super chat, and I also do evening super chats as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm exhausted. I'm going to go and take Sunday off, and I will see you guys tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. I'm sorry. By the time you guys watch this, it's going to be it's, the next day is going to be Monday morning. So I'll see you guys at 9 a.m. Monday morning. Okay, I love you guys so much. Bye. See you guys.